Till now, we have been seeing about ratios which are con profitability ratio which are calculated with respect to sales. Now we will calculate profitability with respect to invested money. The first thing that we will calculate is operating return on assets. The operating return on asset is given by operating profit average total assets divided by average total assets. So let's say operating profit of a company is 50 and the asset of the company is let's say 500. In this case you get a number of 10% as operating return on asset meaning if the company has employed 500 dollars worth of asset during the year it was able to generate 50 rupees of operating profit. So which is 10% of the invested money. Why operating profit? You might have that question. Operating profit would give you a better sense because this asset actually ideally generated only operating profit because the interest and tax payment are are not related to this asset that is employed in operations. So it might make better sense to see how how much profit this assets actually generated. Alright? In order to by doing the business. So it, it makes sense to look at it with operating profit because this assets were utilized in operations and it makes sense to compare it with operating profit alone. Let's go ahead and calculate this ratio. So operating profit is something we already have here. A bit. Uh, operating profit and average total asset is here. Liability is equal to asset and operating profit divided by assets. So between last year and this year this has decreased. So ideally any investor would want to generate as much profit as possible for a given asset. So this he would want this number to be higher. Last year if $100 worth of asset was employed, $9 of operating profit was generated whereas this year it has decreased to $8 which is not a good news. So the profitability with respect to assets have come down during the year. This is how we have to look at operating return on assets.